Hello, my sweets. It is time to stop wallowing in our losses. I mean, sure, if you have a 401k, it's probably And every time there's an announcement about layoffs, it feels like that circle is getting closer to you. So we're gonna ask CNN's money man, Ali Velshi, what are we supposed to do about it? Never, never, no matter how good a bet looks, you can't put all your money into it. Diversification would have saved anybody. Also, I swear it is just a backwards row, kind of like putting on a coat backwards. But we may have discovered a new secret about the latest commercial success, the Snuggie. The same actors, they play a husband and a wife in the, it looks like it's a Bluetooth, a, yes. but it's like a hearing aid, and the wife is really mean to the husband. <laughs> Would you turn, turn that down? <laughs> Could you turn that TV down, please? And then stay tuned for the tape where Rafer and Bob get all Christian bail on us. Oh no, he didn't. Serious, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy, but I don't cut it when you bull around like this on set. Okay. <laughs> Could you get the tank prop to move? Look, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy, but can you roll it? Right now, we're just downstairs from the HLN studios at the Turner store at CNN Center, where Ali Belshi, you know, the chief business correspondent, is having a book signing. I want you to look at the title of his book, Give Me My Money Back. Is that not a great title? I'm going to ask him where my money went. Ali, the title of your book is Give Me My Money Back. For most of us, where did it go? Well, the money's gone. It's it's money that you you're not actually getting your money back. I, the, the, what this really means is that you're That's going a good to get title, Allie. But you're going to get some money back. I'm going to show you how to build your portfolio, how to get some of that wealth back. But it's not actually the same money. So the money that you lost in this market has gone into the air, literally. Okay. Uh, this is different money. So I should maybe I should call it get some new money. <laughs> Okay, success. according to your book, I would be a high tolerance investor right. based on my age. So that's right. a lot of our podcasters right. age too who's yeah. watching because I'm not going to retire anytime soon right. unless CNN has some different ideas. So what should I be investing in? You should be, first of all, you should be investing in mutual funds or index funds or exchange traded funds. So unless you have a particular affinity to a stock, you don't need to buy a single individual stock. Mutual funds take 20 or more stocks and allow you to invest in a way that's diversified. So if one of them goes bad, everything doesn't. You know, when I think about the Bernie Madoff scandal, yeah. I want to ask, what should I be asking financial advisors okay. if I hire one, if, the, if you do? No, and, and, and in the book, I actually have a full chapter devoted to whether or not it's right for you to have a financial advisor, but you need proof. First of all, before you get a financial advisor, ask them for references from people they've worked with. If they're good, they should be able to give them to you. And number two, you as much as people don't want to look at their statements, one of the best reasons to look at their, your statement is just to say, am I invested in the things I thought I invested? In. Okay, so there's the meat of the story from Allie's little noggin. Helpful. Stay tuned because we're going to go back to Allie's book signing to see what your signature says about you. What's the mean? There. What's the mean? Yeah, what it means, am I? It means you're, um, you're angry and then you get happy very quickly and then all of a sudden you get mad again and then you feel hungry. Now you can do what you need to and stay totally warm with the Snuggie. Let me introduce you to Erin. Erin's a member of our floor crew. I just adore her. But every time we're walking by the commercial that has one of those, you know, blankets with the armholes on it, much like this, she says, I want one. And apparently she's not the only one. Check out this story that we had on the broadcast. Four million of those blankets with sleeves, that's what it is, have been sold in the past six months. And now, USA Today reports, there are more than 200 Snuggie fan groups on Facebook. There's a website for cult followers called SnuggieSightings.com. Uh-oh! And they show pictures. A Snuggie drinking game is big now on college campuses. When we saw that story come across that morning in the newsroom, you should have heard it. I mean, the trend is surprising on one hand, but then on the other hand, it's kind of not. Uh, somebody at Tennis the other day mentioned these Snuggies and, you know, how they wanted one. And they said they were on back order for six months. Couldn't get them. Six months. And then there's certain colors, too, that people like. Now, there's the Snuggie, the blanket that has sleeves. What do they look like to you? I went to a Catholic high school, and Franciscan friars taught us. That's what they look like. They should come with a free pair of sandals. Natalie, every time you see one, what happens? Well, I always think they kind of look like um, cult members on the commercial, and especially the red. Blankets are okay, but they can slip and slide. And when you need to reach for something, your hands are trapped inside. What have you got on? Do you? I, I can't figure this thing out. <laughs> Okay, wait, we've, we've just discovered that the same actors are on both commercials. What is oh, it now? Yeah. The same actors, they play a husband and a wife in the, it looks like it's a, a blue 
too, yes. but it's like a hearing aid, and the wife is really mean to the husband. Would you turn that down? <laughs> She's, so She's so mean. Right. Like, if I were him, I would spend the money instead of buying the little Bluetooth thing on a divorce lawyer. Because she's mean. She's just mean. So now in the next commercial, they're all loving and stuff? Yeah, they're all loving. They're just, they're wearing Snuggies the Snuggies. Oh, they're <laughs> Snuggies bring a family together, man, you know? Um, by the way, come around this way. No confirmation that those actors really are the same actors in both of those commercials. So back in the CNN Center, I'm running around on one of the cool sets that we have. It's kind of like this never-ending, like you don't see, you don't see where it stops or where it begins. Just, I don't know what we're doing with it, but that's what I'm doing with it. Anyway, speaking of actors and sets, um, did you get a load of the anger that Christian Bale spewed on the set of the latest Terminator film? Yeah, we had that. I want to f***ing kick your f***ing You know, Christian, shut up for a Christian, second, all right? Christian, okay, I'm going to go. Do you want me to go f trash your lights? Do you want me to f***ing trash them? Then why are you trashing my scene? I'm not trying to trash you are trashing my scene. You do it one more time, and I ain't walking on this set if you're still hired. I'm serious. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy, but I don't cut it when you bull around like this on set. Yeah, that's why they insure movies. That's really? what Bob says to me all the time. Yeah, man, you're a nice guy, but you're ruining my set. All right, all okay. Time. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. You. See, that's what happens every time I cut into his time. <laughs> cute guys. Also cute was a nice surprise from the blimp over the Super Bowl. Now, Larry Smith and Rafer went on. We're in on this one. Three days and counting. Live. Wait, wait, wait. That says Morning Express with Robin Mead. Robin Mead. Goodyear blimp saying hello to you. Ah! And From it's live. That's live. That's happening in Tampa. Oh, well, hello to them. How cool is that? I mean, I know it wasn't during the Super Bowl, but that's the Super Bowl blimp. The Super Bowl. Okay, let's go back to Ali Belshi at his book signing. I challenge you, Ali, to a sign-off. <laughs> This is a manic signature. Mine's just a rushed signature. Mine's a I mean business. I mine is it. mine says time is money. Oh, oh my! Okay. Oh, like oh the plot has thickened. Okay, so let me show you the back. His is full of info because his book has come out. Isn't you see, it exciting? If, if I were Robin, I wouldn't need the info. I need people who are gonna look at this and say, why the hell do I want this guy's bookmark? And then they turn around and they say, five tips to being a good investor, they take mine. Robin doesn't have those problems. People say, oh my God, a Robin Mead bookmark, I'm taking it. Let's go test, let's go test. You got a choice between two bookmarkers. Which one are you going for? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we have two bookmarkers, which one are you gonna choose? Of course, this one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nine out of ten people recommend the Robin book. <laughs> Allie's so sweet. I wish him a lot of luck on his book. And by the way, you know, thank you so much for hanging out with us while we have a little bit of fun in between the news that we do for you. Speaking of which, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay? I'm going to run and get some sleep. Bye.